Hello and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 1st of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now as ever I'm going to give the major strands of this week before diving deep into each of the zodiac signs so please stay with me. Of course this is a new month and it begins with the Sun in an electric opposition to Uranus. The Sun is in Scorpio which is a fixed sign, and so is Uranus in Taurus. So there's a polarity there. But Uranus is about change, and fixed signs is about continuity. So when it comes to shared resources, Scorpio, everyday money, Taurus, spending decisions, or close devotional relationships, alliances, where we're most invested, there could be the need to make some changes. But also this week we're seeing a new moon in Scorpio and because of the energy of Uranus it's a fine time to think outside the box and be more innovative in our approach. But if something is very rigid or we're resisting something in our lives, perhaps because we are a little bit fearful of change, then there could be a tension that builds up over the next three or four weeks of this new moon. But also at the very start of this week, Mercury and Jupiter continue to forge an awesome alliance. So if there is something you need to talk about around a business situation, that can be very helpful. Now, later in the week, there is some big action too, because Mercury dives deep into the sign of Scorpio on Friday. In fact, on Wednesday, it comes out of shadow really bring into the end the retrograde period in the sign of Libra. But once it goes into Scorpio, it's not so much what people are saying, it's what they really mean. And Mercury in Scorpio helps us to decipher what's not obvious. But also Venus moves on the same day into a long duration in the sign of Capricorn. Now ordinarily Venus takes around 28 days to pass through each zodiac sign. It's going to be in Capricorn through to the 6th of March. So this is a really extensive transit. Now Venus in Capricorn can make us think very seriously about our responsibilities in relationships. But it also suggests in a professional context that if we can build up alliances based on goodwill and diplomacy, that can be a very good thing to go for. But almost immediately at the end of this week, Mars and Saturn are in a rather chaffing right angle. So even if we are talking with some urgency about a financial or a relationship matter, Saturn in the sector of the future, in this particular situation, that could see us limited in some way around some of our choices, or that's how it can feel. So please stay with me for your deep dive video, but remember if you'd like to get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the subscription link beneath this video. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you want to get your year 22 personal forecast, if you order it now, you can get the rest of this year free, plus a character analysis and 30% off. Thank you so much. Hello Capricorn and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 1st of November. The wonderful news is that Venus arrives in your sign on Friday and is going to be with you through to the 6th of March. Now Venus is the planet of relating but in the first house it's your individuality which people are really drawn towards. And because there's a new moon in your sector of sociability and Mercury moves into that sector too, there's been a lot for you to contend with on the professional front over the last month or two. But now you can start to enjoy the successes that you've had. Also Mars, exalted in your sign, is in the 11th house as well. But it does clash with Saturn in your sector of everyday resources as the week draws to a close. So it's possible that someone that's in your friendship circle could either be a bit resistant to some of your values. There may be a clash around finances between you and someone you're friendly with. Or, if you are thinking 
about a long-term spending decision, it may seem that you can't quite go forwards as dynamically as you would like for now. But with Venus in your sign, I can't tell you how hopeful this is. It's going to bring all sorts of opportunities your way and you are going to, I think, transform your personal appearance. And even some of your values could go through quite a big change between now and the early parts of March. And that can see you forging alliances with new people, but those relationships can be relationships that turn out to be, in some ways, incredibly fated. 